but I don't use gloves. <laughs> look, it, it's, if you want to use big gloves, you use big gloves. This is because my granddaddy, bless his old tough hide, didn't wear nothing, and he'd go in and he never got stung. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he lied a whole lot. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what's on the phone. Uh, so That's called a, a closure. Yeah. These girls are wanting back in. <laughs> when you're putting up a swarm, you need something for them to travel on. Just any kind of piece anything. of cloth or anything. Anything. Yeah. An old sheet, a newspaper, a plywood, huh. cardboard box unfolded open. Well, anything. let's let's take a look in here. There's that. See, there's not many of these. Now this swarm went in this hive two weeks ago at the house. Oh. This is a uh, one of my split nuclei that swarm. So I just left them in here for this purpose. Some of this comb isn't worth two cents. But uh, let's see what kind of pattern she's laying. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Oh. Baby bees that will hatch out in less than two weeks. Get hold that up again. Let's get a picture of it. Beautiful. Wow. Right. That is Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, let's see here now. I just don't like that. <laughs> Not only one. <laughs> and you think they know what they're doing See, now this don't. is a frame mostly of pollen. Yeah. Um, that they put pollen in. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh -huh. She skipped a few cells on that in here and yonder. But still yet, it's a good compact. <laughs> See that old wire there? Uh-huh. Ed, talk about that little piece of comb that's sticking out. Yeah. Which is that? We're on the far side. Oh, that's a queen cup. Don't worry about that. Where? Oh, the... This right here. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that's mom. That's Hold our on. problem. Huh? Hold on. Where is it? The, the that right. The okay. Cup. That's a queen cup. Don't worry about it. In case it. they want to raise up the new queen, they've got yeah. the foundation started. Oh, okay. Now then, when you look down in there and you see an egg in there, then it's time to worry. They're going to swarm. Oh, I thought you saw that there was already a queen larva in there. there no, not no. all the time. No, oh, that's just a cup. Oh, okay. Uh, and where are you looking in to see that, the bottom? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. You see the egg well, that's a, that's a, that's a oh, this is a good pattern, know. but she has skipped a few. All right, that's two frames. Yeah, hold up that. And now, sure, oh, how you look at side. both sides. You just kind of flip it right. Yeah. Over. When you look at one side, hmm, especially new comb. Look at this side. Turn it up. Roll it around. Okay. And look at the other side. Don't yeah. don't it like this on okay. new comb because you're liable to throw it out. Oh. Yeah. And was someone Look asking it. about any right. structure right. Right. over right. No. over yeah. here? Right. I think right. Right. Kind of just they, they've just started making a little mess there on account yeah. of, see this is no good here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they're just done. Yeah. Alright, that's, what's this? Swarm No. Propolis. Propolis, right. Oh, that's just propolis. They're planning on sealing that up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's two frames that we got of brood and one frame of pollen. Well, we looked at that one, didn't we? No, no. No, no? all right. Yeah. No, we looked at the other one. Oh, okay. The other one was brown. Wow. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That is a good queen. Mm -hmm. You better get her back in that hive then. We're yeah. going yeah. to <laughs> the Now, this is the frame I really wanted you to see. We're going to pass this around 
hold on to that for me and pass it around. And look down in there at the larva. Oh, that's why I wish I had my glasses on. <laughs> you can see the little white grubs down in there. That is in the larvae stage. It's capped over on the ninth day and then it's in the pu pupil stage. It molts five times from nine to 21, sheds wow. its skin five times each time it grows. And it hatches an adult bee. Got a frame with eggs in it. These eggs on the outside of that. Yep. But you're going to have to get out in the sun. I'm going to get my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got a question now that you want to ask? Yes. Why are some of the caps brown and others that nice legs? They've been capped a lot. Ah. They, they take wax from other places in the hive to make caps out of them. That's All right. Sweet. And they took, see that's, this, this one that we looked oh, yeah. at here was new wax. It's and the other one was capped up with old wax. Yes, yes, they use new wax to cap honey. <laughs> you better look pretty fast because these girls are coming from here and are going in here <laughs> on their own. Don't look at them, sure enough. So you really need some light to see the eggs. Yes, yeah, sunlight right. shining over your shoulder. For a long yeah. time without ever actually seeing an egg. You can oh, see it. Yeah. Oh really? Wait till they start in, and you can get out and smell it. Oh really? Yeah, you can smell it. Can Citronella. The the smell of the pheromone that's released when a bee stinks. <laughs> I understand that smells like ripe bananas. Ripe bananas. Yes. Yeah. So don't eat bananas That's around the alarm. Around. That's what I've been told. <laughs> that is again. the alarm. Exactly. <laughs> now you said as long as that queen cell's empty, it's not a problem. Right. right. But what if it was sealed oh, over? Would you oh. knock it off or would you let No, them... no, that's the worst thing you can do uh, is to knock it off and not know that you've got a queen. That you've got a queen. <laughs> right. Because you've destroyed your hive if you do. Right. But they you... might be superseding that old queen and she might be dead. And, but if you find your queen, <laughs> Would you still let them go on and no, choose? No, I would take it off. Yeah, yeah. They won't, they won't start building drone cells until they've got enough workers, correct? <coughs> well, no, they'll build drone cells any time that they need it. They won't, but they won't start building drones until they have enough worker bees. No, they, you can take one cell, one frame, and they'll build drone cells a lot of times, especially in the spring of the year. Mm -hmm. ah. now, is that your queen box, queen cage? <clears throat> so if you find it... Oh, no! Not what you meant to do. <laughs> Stay perfectly still. <laughs> Sounds like the first day of food in the night. Were they both in the Yeah. All right, I'm going to get down here and release her and let her travel in there. Now, if she flies, everybody just step back and stand still. There she goes. Zoom. She's right in there. Is she going? Yep. So what would have happened, Ed, if she had flown? She would have flown around here and come right back. And come right back. So you just stand and wait. <laughs> And I noticed you had a few bees on your hand and you just yeah. gave a gentle shake. They're and not... They, they, <coughs> this is the gentlest you'll ever see bees. Right, right. But I'm just thinking in general when I'm working them, it takes all my concentration when one's crawling on me not to do something stupid. Now don't step right here, well, please. Yeah. So then you just dump them by the hive and up they go, look at them. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? New York City, Russia. Stop. Well, they know what they're doing. Yes, that's exactly right. They know what they're doing. Look at them all standing there and fanning out. Yeah, they started fanning too, hasn't they?
Yeah, it's not. Yeah. And they'll just move again. Pull it out. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Have some lavender oil if you want it. Now, if you want to hurry them up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have so a race now. To, mm -hmm. Let's fix it to where they're not so steep up there. You want to pay them up? <laughs> Run, everybody. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> That's incredible. Boy, they are hurrying. Look at them. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody in the house. Now, when you're putting up a swarm, you need a little smoke to run them in. To make sure that this is what they choose to stay right. in. But if you find a, if it's a swarm that, how do you find the queen originally to get her to go in first? Or Don't worry about just it. Just put the whole swarm put down. Put the whole thing down there. See, look at them from back here, how they're yeah. tracing. Yeah. So if you, if Isn't you that marvelous? find a swarm, there <laughs> is a queen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, the way they don't have to do I know, they're working. Oh my. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a digital video we can put on CD if you wanted to. Oh, that's excellent. Now these you know guys how we all the love looking at the air. They just, <laughs> <laughs> you can't get I mean, enough zoom. Get down there and smell that lemony smell. What's the lemony smell? You can smell like a lemon. You smell it, baby? Yeah, it does. You smell it like this. And what is it? That's the attracting pheromone. You got a good nose, kid. Cool. It's like citronella. Mm -hmm. the, from the queen or from them? No, that? from those bees. From the, so they're they're trying to signal everybody well, else. You'll notice they got their flap up back there. Yeah. yeah. All right. There's a little gland called sniffing. Oh, they're 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 letting everybody know where they, they say, are. They say here yeah. it is. We have found. See, they're waggling. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah, they're doing. It. They just stick their butt up there and waggle. Very cool. Okay. You know, I'm I've, I've worked in bees 30 years. I you said two. And I'm still amazed yeah. every time I put oh, up yeah. a oh, yeah. And they oh, march yeah. right in. You're right. That is incredible. Why wouldn't you just open up the hive? You could. You could. But I like to see but, them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see them appreciated to his own. Depends on how big a herd you're in. Whether you dump them into here or dump them in front. But if you dump them in front, you do need something for them to walk on because it's it's kind of hard for them to to uh, maneuver in the grass. And what's the best way to catch it, swarm? The best way, sure. Buy you one of these little three dollar uh, attracting pheromone tubes and put it in the hive and set it out <laughs> in the bee yard. <laughs> that way, they go. This swarm went in this hive uh, three weeks ago. I've got another one in front of my bee house that went in about three days ago. And on the Biltmore State, I probably caught, I probably caught 15 <laughs> swarms. Oh, you just put a hive out with that, hive. that in there that, and they go. You better believe You aren't installing them. Right. Do you put wax in the hive? Yes, old wax. Old wax. The other day I went to Biltmore to the to pull some honey and I had one of my catcher hives sitting on a platform there down at the barn. And when I pulled up, I could notice about 15 or 20 bees. Now, my catcher hives are green front, eight frame hives, just a brood bus. I noticed about 15 or 20 bees flying back and forth and going in. And I said, uh huh, there's a swarm coming. Uh, I went up and pulled the honey, pulled 12 supers of honey, and started to leave. And I come back down, the, the hive was about 100 yards from the bees down at the barn. And the air was black. Oh, and I stopped, and in a few minutes, 
you couldn't even see the brood body for wow. the bees. And they did just like those, just right in there. Wow. Huh. Now that's the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> really, really, let me say this about swarms. If there's a swarm in the top of one of those trees there, would you attempt to get it? Sure. Depends on how you mean get it. Well, you to get, it, get it the you way you were talking to, about, put a box down You there. either got to get the box to the bees yeah. or the bees to the box. Right, right. Eh. Fair amount. Don't, don't risk your life getting a swarm of bees. It's not worth it. <laughs> if they're down low on a limb, sure, great. Hey, I've got a, a, at Glenwood, there's no jack pine in front of the bees. And there's a limb this high off the ground, and there's a limb this high off the ground, and I threaten the person that cuts that limb is going to die right there. <laughs> because I have uh, three swarms off of that one limb. Uh -huh. And all you have to do is set the hive down, spread your little thing out, and go. <laughs> How long does the pheromone last? Uh, not long. Couple days but you know, a, a bee smeller is That's minute. Their yeah. antenna, let me tell you, they can smell stuff that uh, that we can't even come right from this place. This is one you brought. Where they really do during the during the spring when they they have that's when they have the tendency to swarm the most yeah. in the spring, right? I mean, would you would you set you a if we, that's what you've done then. In swarm season, you set you a hive up with that pheromone in there, yes. close to where your hives are. Yes. So that's well, probably I, it a good doesn't idea. Have to be, it doesn't have to necessarily be close to where the hives are. I've got them scattering all over the building. I've got about 15 catcher hives because there's a lot of bees in houses and a lot of bees in the barns over there. My bees that left that's left yeah. the bee yard. See swarms. Yeah. Sure. So how often, how often do you change the pheromone to attract them? Once a year. Put new in every year when I when I set the hive up. Now, Ambrose did a study in Raleigh. Uh, they put out 16 hives inside the city limits of Raleigh. Raleigh. This was back in the 80s. They put the hives different colors. The front of the hive, different colors. And they put them from 8 to 12 feet high. His findings were... Now, in, over the course of the summer, he caught 18 swarms in those 16 hives. But the green hive caught three swarms one week, and it was sitting 10 feet off the ground. Uh -huh. So you want to get them up off of the ground a little bit mm -hmm. and paint the front of it dark green. Huh. Dark green? Dark green. Dark green. 